<laughs> Rob from Pathway to Freedom. Uh, we've been coming here for six years, and uh, we've been feeding the homeless down on the uh, east side. And uh, usually, what we do, I usually take the kids in, twenty-year-olds, and we go into the back alleys and uh, feed the people that won't come out and uh, get the food, the turkey dinner. So. I got about 15 of us and we'll go into the back alleys and bring them food in there. Usually what it is, it's uh, sandwiches, pop, coffee, um, candy bars, chips, whatever the case may be. And we just do that or and we'll just go into some of the uh, older hotels that people don't, won't go into and we'll go in there and bring uh, the older folks sandwiches and coffee and stuff. So we've been doing it for six years. <coughs> No, I actually I own Pathway to Freedom Society in uh, Surrey, <clears throat> and my clients come down with me. Yes, we've been cooking for two days. It helps them big time because they're only kids, and they don't really get to see what they're going to be getting themselves into, and if they keep going the way that they were going they'll end up down there, but they don't seem to think that they would, but being that they get to see it firsthand, it's an eye-opener every year, and it's pretty quiet going back home in the truck. <laughs> yeah. I've actually been thinking a lot about it, and uh, we've been trying to get that set up in Surrey, and I'm not the kind of guy that want to do it one day a year. I think it should be done every day of the week, seven days a week. But unfortunately, I don't have the manpower. With just in Surrey, we've been I've been doing quite a bit out there, and I've been finding that uh, it's gone from a thousand, roughly, maybe the 75 people on the streets now, just from us doing what we do. That is a huge difference. But unfortunately, Vancouver is way too big for me to tackle. Just being down here today, it's, it's taken a few days, a few days work, and it's very stressful when you're running a society and trying to do this at the same time, it's almost too much. So. Um, there's been a lot of problems in Surrey I found with uh, recovery houses and stuff, and I owned uh, uh, a bit of a construction company, and I gave it up to do this because of the problems that they've had in Surrey, so I started it up and uh, we've gone from 10 clients to 60 just in the last couple of years. I've only been open for three years this April and it's gone from 10 to 60 clients. Five of my houses have got uh, six months plus up to two years of two and a half years of sobriety in, uh, uh, in those houses. So it makes a big difference if you run it properly or and feed them properly and house it properly and the home itself, making sure that it's clean and up to par and stuff, right? That's, that's why I did it. Yes, they do. Yeah, staff in each house. Yeah. Sorry? Uh, six, seven, seven staff members. Uh, some were paid, paid, but not much. They're paid very little, plus they got their uh, their, their, their own jobs that they do, which is construction or whatever it is that they do, but after the second stage housing, there's not much really to do because they're pretty well on their way, six months plus of sobriety, so. Yeah, yeah I would, yeah I would help big time I think, yeah. We, we're having a pretty rough go, I don't know why, but in Surrey right now, uh, we're having a lot of clients that we're having to carry. And uh, it's a bit of a struggle, making sure that uh, everybody's got what all their needs are and being that it's Christmas and 60 gifts and 60 of this and 60 of that, it can be, get pretty expensive after a while, so. Yeah, I think if everybody chipped in, it wouldn't be like this. We just need more people doing it, yeah, yeah. Once a year is not enough, so it should be a daily event, and there's enough of us around to do it. So, just thinking with what I've done, you can imagine if everybody else got involved, 
we wouldn't have this problem that we got down on the east side. We do a lot of talking, but we don't do a lot of action. So that's the bad news.